Hey, what's going on? Good morning. It's your boy RDP for RDP Outdoors. Uh, we got a busy day ahead. Uh, I am going to load up the ATV right now using the uh, Harbor Freight aluminum ramps people have been asking me about. Um, load up the ATV, show you guys how I do that, and then we're going to head out to the property to set traps. Um, I should have did this last night, but the weather got too bad. So we're going to do it this morning. Um, I'll set the traps, and then I think later on in the day we're going to do some, uh, some forging. So we'll be back out here to do some knife forging. But anyway, this is what I do as far as setting up the ramps to get a ATV in the back of the Tacoma. Slide it back to the edge here. And I just hooked this, these hooks down to my uh, my uh, tow anchors here in the back of the truck. Um, and then you just open them, make sure you stay on far enough of this chain so it doesn't get caught up. Then you just open them up. Open them up, slide it over to the stand. Before I'll be probably loading that. Put that in. You can also twist the chains to uh, make them a little bit tighter so that the, uh, um, you know, so it holds a little bit tighter to the tailgate. Uh, this works just fine for me. Uh, then what I do is I'll get on the uh, my little Yamaha and I'll put it, I usually pull it up in low so it just has enough torque to get me up and in. Just slowly go up. Ideally, you would like to have a second or third person. You guys just walk it up while it's in neutral, but it's just me. So when I get to where I get, I put it back in neutral and I just push it out um, without riding it out so that there's no accidents. So I do recommend having people to help you do this, but it's just me today, so it is what it is. So I'll get that thing loaded. So that's pretty much it, guys. So I'll take it and I try to strap it down. You see it hangs over the tailgate probably I say roughly about three, four inches over the tailgate, but it fits in here fine. And what I'll usually do after this is I will um, try to try to strap it down at the ankles in like three different places. I'll do the two in the back and one in the front. I'll fold this uh, ramp back up, slide it under, it fits perfectly. Matter of fact, I'll show you guys a video of that, or I'll include that in this video as well. This slides right up under the ATV and then I'll have a fourth strap that I'll strap it <clears throat> into one of the tow hitches as, as well so that I'm safe going down the road and nothing's flying off and doing anything. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll include how <clears throat> it's all done once I, uh, once I get this thing strapped in. Stay tuned. So yeah, here we go, folks. I got, uh, so the ladder, as you can see here, I got it strapped down there. I got uh, tie downs on both uh, sides of the axle. Um, and then I also run a strap just across the front, man, to keep it safe. Last thing I wanted somebody to have an accident uh, or me to cause an accident on the road, but yeah, so we got it all loaded up. Uh, this is how she looks when she's loaded. I got her pulled all the way up. That's about how much you're gonna have hanging over, at least with this size, um, four, by, uh, four wheel, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, it fits on there fine. I'll get out here, I'll unload it, we'll go set the traps, and uh, we'll head back home, get ready to do some, uh, some forging tonight. 